Leia. So Leia is a multi timbral synth with 256 voices, which could be divided among any number of individual instruments. Its strengths are rich, fat textural pads, uh, really long, evolving drones, which never repeat themselves, uh, evocative cinematic soundscapes, polyrhythmic sequenced loops, and even synthesized drum patterns. Um, Leia's top level configuration is called a performance, a performance, um, which some other synths might call a multi, um, because it's basically a, a, a multi timbral setup with lots of different instruments which can play on lots of different channels. Um, and that's the view you see here, which is presented when Leia first runs. Uh, and the performance consists of the master strip, um, which has master volume, global transpose, tempo, etc. And at least one, but usually more, instruments. Um, each instrument can have its own MIDI channel. Uh, let's type in one there, its own MIDI channel, and can also be routed to any one of eight auxiliary um, audio outputs as well, if you're running in the IAA app, yeah, if you're running it in an interact audio host. Instruments, in turn, consist of one or more layers, uh, uh, where each layer is a complete synthesizer. Um, and each synthesizer can have a, has a dual oscillator, two filters, three envelopes, and plenty of modulation possibilities. And layers maximum of 256 voices are divided, divided among all of the active layers in the performance, which means if an instrument has, say, four layers and you play two notes, then that will use a total of eight voices, four times two. Or another way of looking at it is as four separate synthesizers, each playing two notes. Um, it's worth saying that it's a common misapprehension, actually, among layer users, that CP usage goes up with the number of layers that you pile into a performance. Actually, I should say it's a common misapprehension among non-layer users. Um, uh, CPU doesn't go up as you pile more layers into performance. Um, it remains constant and consistent, and the actual figure depends on the device layer is running on, but it will always use the same CPU power no matter how many voices or layers are playing. Uh, in layer, unlike most other synths, 256 voices consume exactly the same amount of CPU time as one voice. Um, this is Leia's main strength. So, um, I'll just switch here to an initialized preset so that we've got the basic view. Um, there are two kinds of presets in Leia, instruments and performance. Um, and as their name suggests, instrument presets are for individual instruments and you load instrument presets by tapping on the load button in an instrument strip and then you get banks full of instrument presets which you can select from and you can save your own in the non-factory banks. Um, you can also use bank select and MIDI program change on the instrument's channel to choose them as well. Um, Performance presets uh, represent Leia's entire state, which might be several instruments all on different channels, um, different volumes, with different numbers of layers in each instrument. Uh, and the estate, that's a multi-group, timbral group of instruments with channel settings and output settings, some global settings such as transpose and tempo and effects. It's got three basic effects. Um, so the performance has a special channel in layer settings and you get to layer settings by tapping on the gear icon in the master strip. Um, sending bank select and program change on that channel will load a performance preset. 
the channel is usually 16, but I, I use 15, so that's why it says 15 here. Um, sending bank select and program change on that channel will load a performance preset, and you can also select the bank select message that you prefer, lo, 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 um, uh, MSB or LSB, least significant or most significant byte. So let's not start by diving into a long description of the user interface, but instead by playing some performance presets that demonstrate some of the aspects we just mentioned. Maybe, okay, so let's start with some pads. Here's a big fat pad. A bit low, because I had transpose on my master keyboard, but here, try again. Another one. Another one. This one's sort of based on a Jupiter 8 sound, really. Another one of Leia's strong points uh, is the ability to make really long evolving drones um, that never repeat themselves. Um, so let's play a couple of drones. Uh, if you look at the top of the screen when you're in the loading panel here and you select a preset, a little line of text comes up at the top and it's a description of what the preset or what the author of the preset wanted you to know. It says, huge monophonic sci-fi drone, low notes held for a long, for a minute or two are best. And given the name of the preset, it's called press and hold F1 for a long time. Um, that's what we'll do. Press and hold F1 for a long time. This preset, you can see, consists of lots of instruments. Lots of lots of things going on in each layer. <laughs> Let's listen to another drone. Um, this one's called uh, Cricket Pincher. As I say, it says, hold F2 until tomorrow. <laughs> don't know why it's always F. So, um, <clears throat> layers, modulators, and envelopes can have uh, times of cycles of hundreds of seconds. Um, and the onset of the looping envelopes can also be delayed um, by equally long times. So, you can really set up some interesting patterns. Let's hear some sequence loops now. This uses the arpeggiator, which I'm not going to go straight into here. Um, but the arpeggiator is an eight-track sequencer, which can play 
which uses the chord that's input into it from one channel and outputs that in different ways on eight different channels. Um, and you can do all sorts of things with the events in the sequencer. Um, so let's start with uh, something like this. So that's one. Um, this one, one which is a bit less uh, less radical. Uh, so this is quite nice. It's like the, it's like a sort of random playback on one of the channels that makes it sound like it's improvising. mixer you can use to mix in and out the different instruments on different MIDI channels. So, yeah, cool. Um, let's load another one. Uh, this is fun. So there you are. That's some um, some of the kind of things that can be done within Layer, uh, from pads to drones to these sequences.